Welcome back gamers and welcome to my channel. Good to talk to you once again. I know I'm a little bit late and you know new patch, new Italian battleship early access. Uh, yes, you can uh, play with uh, from you know tier 4 all the way to tier 9. Uh, however, I do have to apologize because I could not do any type of uh, YouTube work. We had but of those snow, so I was fighting the snow and, you know, I do have um, a house and we receive, I have no idea how many inches of snow, but in uh, centimeters, it was close to 40 centimeters. It was so much I could not come out or inside the house and not even open the damn uh, garage. So, yeah, I, 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 I had to put all my effort to... Um, get away or take away the snow from my house so we have a huge pleasure to watch this awesome captain from asia uh, raven 201 211 sorry he's playing the tier 9 lepanto 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 um, the reload it's bad the dispersion it's bad and seriously I mean, thinking, you know, there's a lot of hype about, and probably in this um, replay, you're definitely going to see the um, strength and the weakness about this ship. But one of the weakness is definitely, uh, you're going to uh, feel the dispersion and uh, like a shotgun, you know, all over the place. And very poor damage per minute. You know, I have no idea exactly what kind of a spec this captain have. If he has a secondary build or... I don't know. Akatsuki is bound to be blapped. He only has 500. Yeah, never mind. Um, Fubuki took him out the Akatsuki. Kind of a weird. But... <laughs> Alright. There is a Kagero over there. Now, of course, guys, not everything is bad, but... Frankly, I'm very much like say from the uh, get go, I have very hard time uh, to come up with good stuff about the Italian battleships. Frankly, I like to say, and this is something new stage, I know, work in progress, also the um, uh, German new destroyer line, which have no smoke, slow as all hell, and uh, extremely extremely short seven kilometers range i don't know the tier nine seven kilometers range and no smoke yeah hydro going figure i don't know and 150 millimeters guns the destroyers frankly i like to say that we're giving i kind of lost the i don't know how to say it Ooh, that was one <coughs> hell of a big damage. 1,250 damage towards the destroyer. Not great, actually. The damage versus the destroyer, if you can see, it, it's kind of a mediocre. How is that? If this ship were um, HMS Lion, I do believe one single shell could probably done twice as much with HE, of course. Um... Here's the deal, guys. The new oncoming German um, uh, destroyer are a pile of crap, and I have no idea what's the purpose to even try to grind them. I'm not saying that the Kansas and the old slow dreadnought are any fun. I do have the Kansas. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Sure, the guns are pretty uh, strong and good salvo. And the A, it's not bad. Let me put it in this way, if you expect it with AA defense and all that. However, the only reason you want to play uh, Kansas and all the um, tier 9 and tier 10 Van Rom, it's to become a very juicy farming piñata so anyone can farm you and gain a lot of credits, experiences, and so on. All right. <clears throat> that was actually uh, pretty impressive. However, how much did you uh, It was a good tra uh, trade. So far, a good trade. The only problem is that the reload is horrible, uh, bad. You have one of the longest reload of all uh, ship types. 
And remember, you may argue that some uh, Soviet battleships also have pretty bad reload, but they have pinpoint accuracy and great app penetration at this range. And also, I know, even though the, the Italian uh, battleship's armor are not bad, they do not compare with the Kreml or any of those uh, Soviet battleships, which they do have in many parts 50 millimeters. And by the way, this also show you that, yeah, you all have um, um, armor good ish. On the other hand, he received perfect bow on 4900 damage twice. This is very interesting. He's changed back to AP. Yeah, that's the right to go. Yep, 25,000. So you do have the Citadel, you know what I mean? Your freaking uh, Soviet uh, battleship. Pretty strong angle, but crazy weak when you show broadside. You have no problem whatsoever to Citadel this ship. And it's a uh, Iowa versus Lepanto. It's a tier nine versus tier nine. You know what I mean? Of course, at this range, I should always go for the AP. It's very good angle. The um, enemy um, Iowa, it's not that good angle. However, the Iowa's guns are. Um, uh, yeah, this captain has uh, Luigi uh, for a captain. That's for damn sure. So maybe Luigi is probably the best Italian captain you can have. But man, seriously, I do like the turning radius. It's not bad. Probably the niche about this ship. Um, the only downside, I, 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 let me put it this way. I also have, you know, Georgia and many other uh, battleships, you know what I mean? But if you have to wait bottleloads of time and dispersion or shotgun is all over the place, this is the best, uh, best example. Just look at the shells. Very uh, shotgun wise, dispersion is all over the place. 8200. Not, not bad. Uh, but it's all about RNG. It does not matter how good you aim. I don't know. It does not matter how badass aimer you are or good. Um, yeah, it's 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 a lot about RNG. A lot about if you're lucky to hit your enemy. And you may argue, guys, that uh, all okay. The dispersion. This one it was wasn't terrible actually. Three pen. And finish him off. And the speed are pretty damn good. Now, of course, there are the other downside. You know, if a CV is just uh, or seeing, oh, there's an Italian battleship. I'm not saying you cannot defend yourself, but no, seriously, you cannot defend yourself. It's because you have two damn of a short range of your AA. Probably, I'm just saying, the Italian battleship will have the worst AA of all ships, of all nations. You cannot compare this thing with, let's say, any Soviet battleship, because the Soviet battleship, especially at tier 7 and above, they, have, they do not have bad AA. And the AA bubble of the Soviet battleship are amazing versus the Italian ones. You have a lot of, uh, you know, secondary and A guns, but they are crazy short. Yes, you can increase it. Yes, you can um, have the smoke for crying out loud and uh, a crazy short range. Probably you, you will benefit of um, bad weather or cyclone. He is right now in cyclone 8 kilometers, so not bad, uh, to be honest with you. Um, but... The main question, and I very much would like to ans uh, ask you guys, what's the reason, what's the flavor of the Italian battleship versus anything else? I mean, you have the French, which they specialty with uh, reload booster of your main armament, at the same time also great speed. Yes, you do not have a lot of uh, guns, but you reload pretty damn uh, fast under 30 um, um, 
seconds probably around 24 25 seconds so it's it's decent reload speed your aa it's got here i'm talking about republic uh, i talk about jean bart uh, borgone you know not bad aa a matter of fact they are aa monster you know what i mean uh, who, who's gonna beat the republic's aa nobody not even a damn Mont montana you know what i mean so and they are kind of a fast they have bad armor and uh, not a whole lot of tools but the main question and all nations have their own cork and stuff like that but why it's the special what is the reason he has ap there's alaska and iowa let's see what's going on with the ap versus alaska alaska has crazy low citadel 8000 okay that was a good hit 11 hits 11 um, ap hits well, it, it was a decent uh, amount but the, the price the thing is what makes this uh, work is that he surprised both of those two enemy ships. He surprised the Iowa and he's, of course he surprised the Alaska. Aiming for Alaska, not bad. After all, she's still a cruiser even though she's a super cruiser. With no Citadel. Well, she does have Citadel, but good luck. Um, well, that happened actually. Believe me or not. Oh lord. He Citadel the... the um, Alaska, I do believe. Yes, because Alaska is a very short... Uh, amount of HP pool left and yeah kind of a scary tricky situation he has one fire at this Iowa let's see if he wants to go for the Iowa or he wants for the Alaska yeah well the AP actually are pretty damn good so yes if you can come up this this close range Remember guys in not all games you're gonna have the, the Cyclone the bad weather the cyclone And by the way this captain Alaska is it shooting or what the hell is doing He's on fire. Yeah, he's has the turret Oh, that was a very poor aim or I don't know what the hell happened only 4,000 damage but Alaska is on fire and super cruisers oh I understand what the hell happened man this HE spammer Alaska he has should have changed to AP because man he forgot he is not a HE spammer I'm talking about Alaska you are doing something terrible wrong if you're not using at this close range the AP the AP of Alaska it's fantastic all you have to do even if uh, someone let's say angle which he was angle aim for the superstructure you have a lot of super stru superstructure you ha could have done not twice three times more damage with the um, US super heavy shells but yes well not bad so far um, guys the problem with the Italian uh, ships they are not amazing in speed they have pretty damn short range remember the reason what uh, you know this engagement work it was because this has eight kilometers cycle nobody can see within that eight kilometers and problem I'm just saying uh, at eight kilometers this ship may may looks amazing but how many times you gonna play in this um, cyclone eight kilometers uh, in concealment and then you can you know surprise other cruises and battleships He popped the spotter plane but I have no idea why the reason why maybe he wants to surprise a destroyer because now it's three destroyers left and uh, one it's uh, Asashio good luck killing Asashio oh Colorado poor devil uh, you know this match make it's fantastic man someone blacked the uh, Colorado the Asashio sorry hmm I wondering who Utlan of course Utlan the tier 9 Utlan but now he's actually alone with St. Louis versus Colorado and Öster, Jotland and Kagero. And Kagero somewhere at B, he's trying to cap. 
and probably the other destroyer is at sea so this is actually worse than you can imagine how is that it's very simple all he needs to do the cholera to just get the hell out of there i repeat all he, uh, the enemy ne needs to do is uh, Colorado to move away, which kind of a slow, and they will eventually win. Okay, this is bad for the Colorado. He's not seeing but the smoke will end in just 9 seconds. Now he's been seen, of course. 27,000. Okay, high caliber is done. 9 um, penetration hits. But you take tons of damage in return oh lord oh lord this captain should have done if you receive one torpedo hit mm. i mean seriously he's a tier 7 uh, ship and there you have it the saint louis finish him off but the enemy team control alpha bravo and charlie so yeah even though the colorado died he has used all his heal and no more heal and uh, the truth is all they need to do the Östergötland and Kageros just uh, uh, sail away but they are pretty damn strong torpedo boats both of them and there you have probably the Östergötland yeah most likely or it is could be the Kagero uh, hard to tell which one have four torpedo oh oh boy oh boy oh boy oh that's saint louis oh my lord oh he hit two of them three of them oh my lord that's bad because he's so low hp i don't know if he has a uh, heal uh, more any any heal um no okay definitely the Öster Jotland. the problem with this Öster Jotland, he he uh, he, uh, he 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 cannot send those torpedoes um, you know short they ha you have short and super short there's two ships aiming at this captain <laughs> both of them they are a sending torpedoes right now i bet you which actually you know what i do highly recommend if you have a battleship captain put this uh, perk it's worth uh, every single penny now one million dollar question if i were be a destroyer i would make sure uh you should reset this dude okay all right well the turning uh, radius is definitely uh, nice saint louis it's capping alpha and this captain is uh, playing uh, it's calfing b uh, there's more torpedo but he's about to cap okay now, if I were a destroyer, I would definitely open up. Okay, the secondary. That's the Kagero. He actually managed to cap and kill the um, uh, Kagero, which he came too close. I have no idea why he came that close. That's the Öster Jotland, very healthy Öster Jotland. He should have fired his guns way, way earlier before this captain. Um, cap, but if you let the uh, enemy team cap, well, blame yourself. Even if you open fire right now, it's a little bit, little bit too little, too late. Five thousand damage for um, sap pen, man, that's horrible bad. I thought that maximum um, sap damage was nine thousand. How the hell? Just you know. Ask yourself, 5 sap pan for 5,000 damage. That's that's not good. That's really darn bad. And that is Spurgeon, ladies and gents. Maybe he will, he will go down here. Yeah, he did. On the other hand, he have won barely because they kept um, Bravo and, and Charlie. And before... In, even though if he died, they had enough points lead that he won the game. But definitely show you guys the Italian battleship have great weakness. Yes, very good strength versus other battleships and cruisers. But they are crazy bad versus destroyers. So let me know in a comment below what you think about this new Italian battleship line. 
I have to think twice if I want to grind grind this line or not. So guys, thank you guys for watching and always captains, fair seas and goodbye.